Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Java course. Sometimes we might need to read some text from a text file, or we might need to write some、uh, text to a text file. So this video is going to talk about the ways to do them in Java.、Uh, here we have two files. One is a file that has two lines of、um, English text, and the other one here is. A text file that contains five numbers in three rows. So, if I want to obtain the contents from these two types of files, how can we do so in Java?、Hmm. When we want to read、um, text files, we need to import the、uh, file class. Okay, we need to type import. Java dot io dot file, and this file library is already、uh, available for us to make use of it. So I go to the main method. Okay, this is a statement that helps me create. Uh, an object reference called my file, and this my file is actually pointing to a file object、uh, whose argument or whose actual parameter is a text file dot txt, which is simply the、uh, file name of the、um, text file that I'm going to、um, to read. Okay,、uh, we have to no、uh, notice one important property of the、uh, file object here. When we re,、uh, really create a reference to a file object, no physical file is created、uh, when we make use of the constructor here. The file object here is simply a software object instead of a physical object in our、uh, storage space. Okay, so how can we make use of the、uh, file object? Before doing so, I need to allow the、uh, program to obtain the text. How can we do that? We can make use of the scanner class. Before we use the scanner class, we have to import it. Okay, I type import Java. Dot util dot scanner before I、um, do the driver class, okay. And then now I create a scanner object. Okay, here the scanner object is simply having the、um, file object reference as the Uh, actual parameter. Why? Because I want the scanner object to obtain the、uh, text from the text file、um, indicated by the file object. Okay, so、uh, I simply use this、um, approach. So that's the idea. We connect the file object to the scan object, and here the scan object has a reference variable called sc. Now I prepare a string reference variable called str. When I、uh, obtain the lines from the text file, I'm going to store the reference of the um, individual um, string object. To the、uh, str variable.
okay when the text file is still having some uh, unread rows um, the next line method is able to obtain that uh, whole line and that um, whole line becomes a string object whose reference is now str and after I have got the uh, reference of a particular string object I simply uh, use this um, reference variable to print the content out and here has next line method is simply a built-in method of a scanner class for us to um, check whether all the lines in a text file uh, has already been um, read okay so after I have um, printed out all the lines in the text file I need to scan, uh, close the scanner object when it comes to reading a file it is possible that the file mentioned in the uh, actual parameter of the file object is not present if it is the case Java needs us to handle this situation how can we handle it? We have to handle this exception by typing throws exception followed by the um, main method name. Okay. If the file isn't really present in the um, same folder as the um, src folder, um, Java is able to handle the situation by printing an exception um, warning or reminder to us. We, we will see this effect when we really delete one of the files later. So now I can save it and run it. Yes, um, the two lines in the text file can be read and can be printed out. So this um, reading action is successful to the uh, text file called a text file.txt. Okay, let us see another situation of reading um, numbers. Okay. In this example, I can simply um, remain the two reference variables. One is my file and the other is sc. Okay, here I simply refer the uh, reference variable to another file object whose a formal pro uh, sorry whose actual parameter is an int file dot txt. Okay. Here I simply um, use this um, new scan object to refer the um, file reading to another uh, text file okay so this sc uh, variable is simply pointing to a scan object which is going to read the an int file.txt okay So I produce a primitive um, variable which is going to store the contents obtained from the uh, text file. Since the content to read for this file is uh, numbers, okay, I have to use next int and has next int method, okay, which is uh, simply an analog to the situation of uh, reading uh, strings by using has next line method and next line method, okay. 
of course I have to close the file oh, sorry I, I have to close the scanner object after I have used it okay let me save it and run it okay I can read all five numbers contained in the text file oh, one by one so the um, has next int method and the next int method are simply checking um, the number contents in the text file. Uh, the spaces in between two numbers will be ignored or will be um, treated as nothing. Okay. Um, these two methods has next int and next int are able to only capture the numbers. So altogether, five numbers can be uh, captured by these two methods. Uh, we mentioned the situation of uh, losing the files when we really want to read from them. So suppose I want to delete the int file.txt. Right click, delete. Okay. So the file is not uh, existent. When I want to really run the program again, yes, I will get the exception statement. It says that the file is not found. Okay, so Java requires us to handle the situation by explicitly typing throw exception followed by the main method statement. Okay. And after we have talked about reading data from files, how about writing data to a text file? Let us see how we can do it now. Actually, I need a class called print writer class, which can be imported by Java. So I have to do the import here. Okay, import java.io.printwriter. So this class is able for us to use after we have imported it so from this class i want to create a print writer uh, object okay this statement is going to create a print writer object whose reference is called uh, output and this print writer object con uh, constructor is simply the uh, uh, having the file name that I want to output as the uh, actual parameter okay so my file name is my output file dot txt what will I want to output to a text file I want to output one line of text. Also, I want to print out another line to the text file. And after doing the printing, I need to close the uh, print writer object. Okay, that's the way of printing some uh, text into a certain uh, text file. So let me save it and run it. Okay, after I refresh the uh, package explorer, 
I can see my text file. Let me double click it. Okay. After running the print writer uh, code, the two lines that I have uh, shown on the uh, driver program is able to be um, exported to a text file. So the um, text output can be done in this way. When we want to do so to a certain text file, I simply make use of the print writer uh, class and I create a print writer object to help me output some text into a text file. So th this is the end of the uh, uh, video that discusses the ways to do the um, file reading and file writing. This is the end of, of the video. If you have any questions about my video, feel free to leave your comments on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.